ate a pepper on a few occasions, and I'm kind of jealous about the police department thing. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and I just flew in from Boston um, yesterday, and I just prepared a, you know, a few remarks. Um, so, my friend Pepper was truly one of a kind. In fact, I sincerely believe that there are only a handful of people in this world that can make a lasting impact that deeply touches everyone they meet, and Pepper was certainly that person. I can't really explain it, but from the very first day I met Pepper, we instantly connected. I can remember going to my first AA meeting at Marina Pacifica, full of fears I nervously tried to blend in with the crowd. Despite my attempts to avoid eye contact and time my arrival and exit perfectly so that I wouldn't have to talk to anyone, the reality was that I was wearing a camouflaged army combat uniform and couldn't have stuck out in a crowd to join us. Plan B was to look intimidating enough so that no one would talk to me. But that plan failed as well because I met a woman named Pepper wearing de her decorated World War II hat and jacket who was not intimidated at all. In fact, she made a point of physically moving my seat right next to hers as she quietly whispered in my ear, you don't have to do this alone. I will take care of you. In AA, you hear those words a lot. But the difference this time was that I decided in that moment that I would place my trust in a woman who was 60 years my senior without a single hesitation. About halfway through the meeting, Pepper held my hand. I had never felt that kind of love in my life. I still remember that moment like it was yesterday. From that day on, Pepper and I would share an unbreakable bond that extended far beyond the military uniform. She taught me about life, about recovery, and most importantly, taught me that it was okay to love myself, despite making mistakes along the way. For the first year of my sobriety, Pepper and I sat next to each other every single day, and I would show up early so that Pepper would impart as much wisdom on me as possible. Her storybook of a life was fascinating to me, and the unconditional love she had for people was like nothing I had ever seen before. We shared so many laughs, some cries, mostly me, and so many life lessons that I try to pass on to others today. I will remember her kindness, her service, her toughness, and her home that had more history in it, in it than a museum, her Christmas tree that she never took down, <laughs> and especially the love she shared for George. George was our pug, and the weekly updates she would give me about his weight gain and how thankful she was that George was a part of her life. To this day, giving George to Pepper was one of the best decisions I ever made. I could go on and on about Pepper, like most of us in this room, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention her love for angels. I had never met a woman, a person that would so vividly talk about angels and how they would follow us all throughout our lives. Pepper was so confident that my guardian angel had been looking out for me my whole life, especially in my recovery that I swear she must have personally known her. So after about a year, I told her that I believed that she was my angel. And she just simply laughed and disregarded that notion in a very nonchalant way. But today, there's no question that Pepper was my first God shot in recovery and that she really has been and will always be a guardian angel of mine that will shine a light on my path and make sure that I'm being good to myself. I will miss you, Laura. I love you. Ooh.